Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hearthstone World Championship Taiwan Qualifiers. It's all come down to this for the last spot in uh, the Hearthstone World Championships, at least in these Taiwan Qualifiers. And Amaz has made it all the way through a 128-man group stage bracket all the way into the round of 16 playoff bracket. And now down here to uh, at least one of the grand finals to decide who wins or who at least earns their spot in the Hearthstone World Championship. It's Amaz versus Tom60229. Or uh, probably just Tom is what I'm going to go for. And he's playing Handlock. And Handlock, I mean, it runs into some problems with things like Black Knights, things like uh, uh, Big Game Hunters. And Amaz had both of those and options across the board in Game 1 from his Ramp Druid, but it just didn't ramp hard enough and uh, didn't draw into the combo when he needed it. And so game number one went to Tom, and this means that Amaz is facing off against elimination from these qualifiers, uh, sitting at 0-1, and it's a best of three uh, for this spot, no best of fives. And he is bringing his uh, his hunter. Now this is going to be the trap hunter. And oh, wait, what? There's gladiator's longbow. Okay, so the longbow is actually a really cool tech because it lets you slam big things without taking a ton of damage for them. It is seven mana, so it's pretty clunky. Uh, but uh, that's why you don't see it in a lot of decks. But it is still an option and a very good one uh, here versus uh, versus Tom. Uh, so Tom, in traditional handlock fashion, just going to probably skip his turn three. Uh, he can play the Earthen Ring because he does have the coins. So, uh, yeah, th that is probably what he's going to do. Just slam Earthen Ring and uh, move on to turn four. Uh, more importantly, he is actually looking for a giant uh, of sorts. One option that he does have is to use his hero power and then throw down a, um, a soul fire just to kill off the Leenok. And he actually will, or Leok. Get my esports mixed up here a little bit. So he does throw out soul fire uh, even with that. So he's actually going to be a card behind if he draws Mountain Giant here. Uh, but right on turn, the bow. Top Deccan and Reckon, Amaz. Uh, lands a uh, little bit of nice damage, uh, or not nice damage, but he uh, does have some tempo here. And even though it's not a uh, good enough turn to throw down a Mountain Giant, it is a pretty good turn for an Azure Drake. He'll still hit 7 health on that monster. But there's a Hunter's Mark here from Amaz. The only problem is that Amaz literally can't have as many Hunter's Marks as he needs this turn. Uh, if... He had like maybe five, six hunters marks in here for Clan Arena. Maybe that's good enough, but uh, he's gonna hope for a piggy. Where's the? Oh, it is Misha coming out there. Uh, so I think the best option here is Freezing Trap. It works whenever your enemy attacks, and it is gonna make that Azure Drake pretty unplayable at least for the time being. And really, freezing traps are what are going to make um, make Tom's life pretty much a living hell. Uh, in the meantime, though, he's going to set up his taunt line and just perfect his board. Uh, this is ridiculous. Um, and next turn, he's even got the power overwhelming for the Nerubian egg to clear out Misha. So I'm pretty sure Amaz knows Misha is not going to survive another turn. So um, one option is just go for the trade. Uh, it's going to start out the tone, Stone Tusk Boar and then Hunter's Mark. Yeah. So Hunter's Mark, it's a bold move. We'll see how Amaz handles it. I think what you do here is uh, bow into Suicide Misha on the uh, the Nerubian that pops out. You also have Hunter's Mark, or not Hunter's Mark, but Kill Command. Uh, definitely an option here. And I think that will be what he does. He's going to trade and then Kill Command. Uh, so a pretty good turn. Not not bad at all. Uh, he also gets the hero power here, so sets him up even on life total. Uh, but Amaz with board control. The only question is for how long. Um, Amaz used up one bow. He's probably got another um, another one in there. And of course, he has that gladiator's longbow as well. And so Tom is not even concerned about his life total. He'll heal it up just to you know for pretenses because he doesn't want to lose too much life early on and uh, risk getting bursted. And later because Tom probably doesn't know that Amaz plays Gladiators uh, Longbow to clear things out. And we're actually getting fairly late in the game. And wait, Amaz is going to trade with Bow. Ooh, he's revealed his Bow Tech and Bow Tech. It's like Bow Flex. Uh, a little bit different, I suppose. So, oh, and there's Watcher to clear out Misha if he wants to. 
Uh, can't do it this turn, but uh, let's see what the options are for Tom. Uh, probably going to wind up taking a little bit of damage this turn just because his board is not very optimal. Uh, he can silence Misha and throw down Sun Fury. No, he can't. That'd be six mana, so... You probably just drop the Ancient Watcher and move on. Not a whole lot. Um, there is, oh yeah, there is actually that coin. Sorry, I was uh, momentarily obscured there for a second. Uh, so we can do the six mana double taunt, but I don't really think that fixes any of his problems. He does silence it, and whoa, when you silence your, uh, your Keeper or your Ancient Watcher first before you taunt it up, uh, that actually, you know, lets it both taunt and uh, have the ability to attack. So next turn, uh, we should see the Watcher die, which is why I'm not too sure why he went for the double taunt, because he's going to lose both of them anyway. And if Amaz really wants to keep Misha around, he's going to Houndmaster. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Gets to play the Snapjaw too. And so we're just going to bow into Watcher, and then straight up trades across the board. Misha into the Owl, and that does mean that Misha's going to die this turn, uh, but he's hung around for, I think, uh, what is that, three turns now? Uh, Misha more than earning his place in Amaz's deck. And instead of going for the direct to board clear, it is actually just a, um, an Inner Flame. Used to uh, use to clear the board, so um, probably not the most efficient use of things. Um, just be wait, could he have? Yeah, he could have attacked first and then done it, but it wouldn't have changed the outcome. So uh, about the best possible play you can hope for, but it's there's nothing to deal with a Stranglethorn Tiger, um, and Tigers were actually a really interesting tech that only came about in like like a couple of months before this tournament. Um, uh, where Tunners really needed a big 5 drop, they didn't have a lot, and uh, Tiger is a great way to put it in there. It works well, activates all your beast cards, and oh, there's, wait, there's Leroy with an inner fire. What is happening here? How is Tom supposed to win this? He's just board clear, board clear, and actually, oh, he might win it just off of card advantage here, because Amaz is out of, out of options here. There's um, probably a Hunter's Mark coming down next turn, but to be honest, you... <laughs> <laughs> Tom has double giants. This is terrible for Amaz. There's no possible way for him to deal with double giants right now. Uh, at least not next turn. He does have the almighty frozen trap. So keep in mind, Tom has been playing incredibly around this frozen trap just because he knows that um, all he has to do is survive until he gets just an overwhelming combo. And no matter what traps Amaz has, what, what Amaz needs right here is misdirection. Um, Amaz is staring 16, 18 damage in the face right now. So he can withstand maybe one turn of this. Uh, he's going to be able to kill the owl, so at least he guarantees one of these Molten Giants is going back to the hand. Uh, but keep in mind, Molten Giants don't actually, uh, aren't countered by Freezing Trap, because... You can always just lower your life total low enough to where you can play them back anyway. And even with the two extra mana on top of the Freezing Trap, it's still a four mana Molten Giant. So like, there's only so many bad sides to this. And if you're Tom, you pretty much just triple Molten Giant right now. You play it faceless and then you just kind of laugh all the way to the bank as Amaz stares down. More damage than he knows what to do with. I think that's what it is, 22 damage on the field? And yeah, there's no way Amaz is going to be able to deal with this. Triple Molten Giant. Oh, I want to see Amaz's face right now. Has to be crushed looking that in the face. What does he have to deal with it? Oh, he was looking for like a Ragnaros or maybe something to deal with it. Now, Amaz knows his options are fairly limited. Um... I think maybe he was looking... No, he could have been looking for a beast because he drew the buzzard, so... Oh my goodness, this is crushing for Amaz. There's no way for him to deal this. Okay, so let's let's talk about the damage. He has two, four, six with the hero power and the monsters, and then six plus five is 11. He's one damage short. Oh my gosh, Amaz! He's one damage short. There's no way to get it. He dies next turn to 22 damage. And so now instead of going for the kill, he's forced to try to trade, and there's no way to trade this damage effectively. He can survive for one more turn, but there's no way for him to win. Oh, crushing for Amaz. 
There is no one card he can draw that will save him here. So he's just hoping for a desperate misplay. Uh, but that misplay is unfortunately not going to come. Tom is going to be able to uh, hero power for a draw this turn. Which puts him in range of some pretty nasty combos from Amaz, but Amaz just doesn't have the cards to dish him out, especially with only a buzzard in hand. He'd have to play that and then play extra minions after that in order to get the draw, and then also be able to play off the draw. Uh, let's see, what could pick him up the win here? Um, he'd need... Yeah, there's no way for him to win. Uh, uh, just double lot of uh, attack with the, the Molten Giants. And yeah, Tom didn't even use his hero power because he doesn't want to go that much lower in life. And so yeah, there is the, uh, the Savannah high main just for a draw, but yeah, nothing coming his way. And Amaz is pretty dead. Throws out the well played. There's the Unleash the Hounds. Well played indeed. It is Amaz who will lose out this matchup. Just going straight to the base. No BM necessary. And Tom will advance as the winner of the Hearthstone World Championship Taiwan Qualifiers. Congratulations to Tom. He will take down Amaz right when it counts and advance to the Hearthstone World Championships representing Taiwan.